Hi, I'm Dominic from Caravan Planet and today I'm going to be showing you how to put up your new awning. The first thing we should do is pop the skirt in the rail at the bottom of the van. This will help eliminate the draft from underneath. Next, we're going to attach the wheel arch cover. Today I'm using sticky back velcro for putting it on the van. It's not supplied with it, we can get it from your local hardware store. Now we're going to thread the awning onto the caravan, making sure the rail is free from dirt and any damage. Now we go under the canvas and fit the bracket pads. Simply unscrew the bracket pad so it opens the jaw clamp it onto the internal profile of the awning. Usually you just want to go a couple of inches above the seam on the sides and one in the centre. Now we're just about ready to assemble the frame. First pole to put in place will be your centre roof bar. So we put the hook into the pad and extend it out, joining it to your centre joint. Next insert your central pole with its extension into the joint. Place the foot of the central upright pole into the ladder on the awning canvas. This allows you to tension the awning before putting any pegs in. Once your central pole is in place, move on to your left or your right hand side for the next root bar in. Simply insert your upright into that joint. And again, get the ladder at the bottom of the canvas, pop the foot into it. Now if you angle it inwards, or get a helping hand to hold it just while you grab a cross pole. Fit that to your centre joint. Bring it across. Join the two together. Now you just need to do the same again on the other side. Okay, we're nearly done with the frame now. Just have to pop your short canopy poles in place. Once you've inserted your three short canopy poles, you've just got these outer canopy bars left to put in place. Simply thread through the sleeves sewn into the canopy. Once threaded through the sleeves, simply pop the hook through the nylon eye on the pole your eyelet over the top. Okay, your awning's now starting to take shape. We've just got to zip the panels in. To establish the difference between the front and the side panels, the front ones are usually shaped. On this particular model, if we look at the zips, they're different on the front to the side panels. When zipping the panels together, you can ensure that the zips are level before you start zipping. That'll stop any problems. Now all zips now are nylon zips they use, so they don't require any lubricants or anything. So just slide freely. Now we've got the panels in place, it's just a case of tensioning your frame out. When tensioning the frame, 
just want to make sure they're not cutting into the canvas at the front and you can extend the front canopy bars. Once you've got your awning into shape, it's time to peg it. Start off at the back, doing your two back corners first, pulling them inwards towards the caravan to pull it tight. When you've done your two back pegs, next ones are your two front corners, pulling it out nice and square to get it real tight. Once you've done your corners, any zips that aren't going to be used as an entrance, peg the pegging points across each other to take the strain off the zips. Now I can't peg the awning today due to being on camera, but once you put your pegs in, you're ready to put the kettle on and your curtains up. That's it. I hope you've uh, learned something here today and uh, get many years of pleasure out of your awning. <laughs>